Uh, I rise today in support of H.R. 6615, the Traumatic Brain Injury Program Reauthorization Act of 2018. I join the traumatic brain injury community in expressing my gratitude to both Chairman Walden and our incoming Chairman, Frank Ballone, for the work to swiftly move this important legislation forward. Millions of Americans living with a traumatic brain injury can be assured that better treatments and potential cures are in the not so distant future. While the House passed legislation unanimously just last week, the Senate made some minor changes that are both welcome and non-substantiative before they passed the bill yesterday. There is one semantic change that does not have any impact on definition or programs, as well as a regrouping of funding in the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention TBI budget. While the bill includes some amount the same amount of funding that was included before, it will give the CDC more flexibility to use and sustain their funding to implement the National Concussion Surveillance System. As the lead sponsor of this bill, I fought hard to ensure it contained the increase in funding that we secured in the fiscal year 2018 budget, omnibus, as well as enough funding for CDC to finally be able to implement the nation's first surveillance program. I might add uh, to, uh, to the speaker and to Mr. Walden, uh, this was my first attempt back in 1999 and 20 when we put the uh, committee together, the task force together with uh, Jim Greenwood from uh, Pennsylvania. And this was our first objective. <laughs> and it's finally after 20 years, we're slow learners. We finally got it done. And this is going to be a big help to researchers and doctors throughout the United States of America. The CDC has been wanting to implement this for years. This funding will finally allow them to capture the full picture of brain injury so we can better understand the breadth and depth of the problem and use that work towards solutions. Helping people who have suffered these catastrophic injuries is not a political subject. There's no Democratic or Republican way to treat a traumatic brain injury. I'm pleased that we have strong sponsors and support from both parties on both sides of the aisle. When I founded the Congressional Brain Injury Task Force in 2000, 2001, members, including me, were unaware of the extent and impact of TBI. I'll be very frank with you. Today, we fulfill decades-long work from tireless advocates to bolster our federal agencies, states, and local providers. They deserve federal resources to provide the support and breakthrough research necessary to put an end to this condition. The TBI Act reauthorization will help service members on and off the battlefield, athletes on the ball field, children and families across the country who are living with brain injuries. We have a long way to go, but the journey forward is clear today with the passage of this bill. I commend Senators Hatch and Casey for quickly advancing this important legislation in the Senate. I will continue working with them and my co-chair, Tom Rooney, to ensure this legislation is soon signed by the President. I thank you, all of you, and I yield back.